In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix a suspended Hostinger website. If your website has been suspended, it could be concerning, preventing your online presence or business from operating smoothly. But don't worry, we're here to walk you through each step to get your site up and running again. So let's dive right in and resolve this issue together. First, we'll want to check for any ongoing outages. Begin by looking at Hostinger's status page. This page will show whether there's a broader service incident affecting multiple sites or if the issue is specific to your website. If there's a system-wide problem, there's little you can do but wait for Hostinger to resolve it. Once you've ruled out broader issues, the next step is to sign in to your H panel. When you log in, head over to the website section. Here, you'll be looking for any warning messages. If your hosting plan is suspended, a clear warning will appear and your site will not display on your homepage. Understanding where exactly the problem lies within HPanel can guide us to the next actions needed. Now, let's identify why your website is suspended. Generally, Hostinger imposes suspensions when there's a detected violation of their terms of service. It might be helpful here to take a moment and review Hostinger's terms of service on their website to understand what might have gone wrong. Perhaps it was excessive resource usage or some overlooked policy. Knowing why the suspension occurred helps in addressing it effectively. The next step is crucial, contacting Hostinger directly. On your H panel, where you see the suspension notice, there should be a Contact Us button. Click on it to reach out to Hostinger's support team. Discuss with them the details of the suspension and what actions are needed on your part for reactivation. Often, their support will guide you through specific requirements or corrective measures you need to undertake. This direct communication is essential as support can provide tailored advice and potentially fast track your website's reactivation once any issues are addressed. Once you've reached a resolution or have fulfilled the instructions given by Hostinger's support team, your website should eventually be reinstated. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to tackling a suspended Hostinger website. If this video helped you, please make sure to like it, share it with anyone who might be in the same situation and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching and good luck getting your website back online.